Haddock is one of my favorite fish. It's versatile, sustainable, and plentiful. And uh, this is a really simple recipe. We're gonna actually steam it. And this is a bamboo steamer. So if you go to your fishmonger, he'll fillet your fish, he'll pin bone it. I'm gonna cook it with the skin on because I like the skin on that. And if you look at haddock, it is a very distinctive line so this is one fillet it's a round fish and it's a white flesh fish and it's beautiful it's delicate and it's the one fish when i ask fishermen when i'm doing my seafood trails they all say haddock's one of their favorites which is great to hear so uh, yeah your fishmonger will prepare it we're going to steam it we're going to do a lovely kind of like a, a red pepper and tomato dressing with this and uh, then i'm going to show you how to make some pesto so it's very very quick uh, steaming is a very healthy way and bamboo steamer i like because it's going to keep the moisture which is really important so this is a little sheet of parchment paper we're going to drizzle some oil and then we're just going to literally kind of just smear that all over it a little touch of salt and because it's a nice thin fillet it's not going to take very long to cook so while that's on cooking we can start our lovely dressing uh, this is my skillet pan and I'm going to just just have that on low just for the spinach okay so that's the haddock over there Haddock is on steaming, I've had a low heat, I can turn it up if I want to. This is a really lovely dressing for so many fish, but particularly a uh, haddock, it works so well. So we have one small red onion, which is very finely diced, and we're gonna start this cooking process. So we're not looking to color it, we're looking just to soften it a little bit. And um, this is a great dressing that we keep for about a week in your fridge. These are some grilled peppers, I have some yellow, and some really nice, um, red ones too and then the tomatoes which i'm just going to literally cut in half so these are beautiful cherry tomatoes that are grown in ireland and they're the vine tomatoes i should have said because they're lovely and sweet and juicy so i'm going to just cut a few of these so into this uh, dressing it's um we're gonna it's kind of like sweet and sour we're going to put a little bit of sugar so i'm using some castor sugar so roughly about a teaspoonful of that and then for acidity some balsamic vinegar or you can use white wine or you can use cider vinegar if you want to now this will change the color of it the balsamic vinegar this is the three-year-old that i'm using balsamic and then just let just just let that just cook out so we just turned down the heat just let that cook away there perfect we're going to put in some lemon zest <coughs> pardon me so a little bit of lemon zest works really well because it's lovely and fresh and we make this a lot in the restaurant and this dressing actually works really well with goat's cheese too so a little bit more lemon goes in there and then we will put some lemon juice so if you find when you make this and you've added oh god i've added too much um sugar you add more vinegar or more lemon juice so it's totally up to you so don't be worrying about um there's no really kind of set measurement for this now in goes our peppers so these are the grilled peppers so they're already uh, cooked so they are or grilled should i say and we're just going to literally stir them through with the lemon zest so just while they're just cooking through let's have a little look at the fish okay so that's cooking up nicely it's not going to uh, uh, one good thing about the bamboo steamer is that it's uh, very fast and 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 really um keeps the fish really moist which is really important but it uh it's very hard to overcook to be truthful with you so definitely worth getting. They're not very expensive and they sit in the saucepan, just plain boiling water underneath there. And as I say, I have it in a low heat, so it's not, it's not cooking too fast. Now you can pan fry and the fish will work really well with this or you can bake it off in the oven. So I'm gonna put in my tomatoes. We're gonna put in some lovely ackle sea salt. So I'll just bring that because I'm gonna be using that now for the pesto. And then we're gonna put more oil into it. So lots of lovely olive oil here. And just let that kind of stew away there which is perfect and then the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put in some beautiful fresh basil love fresh basil and i'm going to show you how to make fresh pesto now in a moment so just pick off these lovely leaves roll them up and we're going to cut this into nice thin little strips here so just watch the fingers when you're doing this Perfect, okay, so that's gonna go in. Always put the fresh herbs in at the last minute. And just let that just cook away there. You could put in some chickpeas if you want to, but I think that's gonna be beautiful there. Just let that cook away and then we'll switch it off and that's it done. 
that will keep in your fridge and taste it because if you think it's too sweet you add more vinegar or lemon juice and if it's too sour add more sugar so you can see the lovely consistency i'll just get a spoon and i can show you that so i don't want the tomatoes going mushy that's the lovely peppers beautiful oil so let's switch that off and just while that is just finishing off, it's infusing and it does keep really well, we're going to show you how to make some fresh basil pesto. So I'm going to use all this, this lovely fresh uh, basil herb. Okay, and that's gonna go into your little blender. So that goes in there. Couple of cloves of garlic, two cloves of garlic. This is a little tip for you, some spinach, just some baby leaf spinach, and I'm gonna wilt some too. So you're kind of getting a couple of recipes here some toasted pine nuts so when you toast them in a dry pan or in the oven just don't add anything to them because they're an expensive nut and they have a natural oil and when you toast them they get the most delicious flavor so they do so lots of those lovely nuts in there and you can vary this with walnuts and hazelnuts a little bit of grated parmesan cheese okay so some of this lovely parmesan here just watch the fingers and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some olive oil and salt and that's it fresh basil pesto because so a lot of people will grow their own fresh basil and, and it's not an easy herb to grow because you need a lot of heat so lots of lovely olive oil or you can use half uh, olive oil and half of the lovely rapeseed oil so you may think oh my god look at all the oil he's putting in but remember all you're serving is a couple of teaspoonfuls so you're better off to make extra it'll keep in your fridge and you can freeze it some salt and then we're going to blend this now so it's going to be a little bit noisy. Just let the processor do all the work. And it may need a little bit more oil. You can put coriander into it, but basil for me. Uh, when you get fresh basil, oh, smell that. that's beautiful. So we're going to loosen it up a little bit more. I know you're saying, look at all the oil, but you're only using a small amount. Now I'm going to switch off my fish. And I'll show you how you test when that's cooked. And that's our pesto. It's as easy as that. I'm going to show you the consistency of it. Just get a spoon. So now if you come in here, I can just show you. Thank you so much. And look at that lovely consistency. So we'll just put it into the dish here. Oh yeah, look at the toasted nuts. We would have parmesan, the basil. Spinach isn't essential, but it's just a little tip. It kind of like stretches it out a bit and gives a really intense green color. You can't really taste the spinach, to be honest with you. Last thing we need to do before we serve it up and check on our fish, we're going to wilt some spinach. So this is the baby spinach here. I like to use a little bit of um, oil and butter. So in goes the butter. And you think when you're doing this that you have loads of spinach, but you don't. So pop that into your pan and then just a little pinch of salt. So I'm using some ackle sea salt for this. Great producer. Now, when we're cooking spinach in the restaurant, what we always do is have a little bowl of tissue paper because you're going to watch this now, I'll turn up the heat. And you can do this in a pan and a wok, it doesn't really matter. Lovely. So see the way it's wilting? And I forgot to say with the uh, baby spinach, make sure it's washed, but don't remove those little stalks. So that's it, onto your kitchen paper. And then what happens is that you just let that sit and that's gonna absorb all those lovely, um, or the water that comes out, should I say. So just keep that and it'll keep it warm. So let's have a li little look at our fish. And you can see how simple and easy and quick this recipe is. Just with the point of the knife, just go right into the center and that's cooked through so if it's anywhere firm it means that it's not cooked and as i say with this that the fact that you have um the steamer it, it's very hard to overcook it we're going to serve up this is such a simple easy recipe so with our sauce fears we're going to bring this over so we started off with our red onion you could put garlic into it i didn't but you can but remember you have garlic in the pesto the lovely cherry tomatoes and that nice uh, grilled peppers i use the red and the yellow a little touch of vinegar and some sugar and then some basil and olive oil and lemon zest that's really important i forgot to say the lemon zest and juice okay then our spinach so we've wilted that in a little bit of oil and butter and i've got to say that oil and butter what um the oil stops the butter from burning because bur butter doesn't have a very high um smoke temperature so now lift this just on top 
So you're wilting that, it's gonna give lovely freshness. Of course, spinach is so good for you. And then with our lovely fish here. So just bring this over here. And I find the easiest way is use, lifting this out is with a little fish slice. So I'm gonna put a little bit more oil over it. Just over the top, just kind of smear that, gives a lovely shine. You can serve it flesh side up, but I like to show off that beautiful skin from the haddock. And just literally slide it on there. And the last thing is our fresh basil pesto. So we got our fresh basil, we got our spinach, our garlic, and we also got the toasted pine nuts. And just drizzle this around the plate. So lots of lovely summer flavors there. And I think that is a really beautiful fresh dish. So that's our lovely fresh haddock, which we steamed and served with that lovely sauce for yours, that basil pesto. As I say, haddock is plentiful. It's good value, it's full of flavor, and it's so easy to cook and so versatile. So enjoy this very simple recipe. Thank you so much.